the MC. You're one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. Everybody knows Hall of Fame, VH1, fantastic. Very what are you good. doing at Beaches? It seems a strange thing to be doing here. Well, I'm a people person. Uh, Beaches is doing great things for people, families, vacationers, hard workers. Uh, they invited me to come down and celebrate the opening of the new Italian village. Excellent. Which was a whole another level of from what I even anticipated. <laughs> Marvellous. The, I get the impression that you're almost teaching the next generation or influencing the next generation of hip-hop musicians, but mainly appreciation of music. Yeah, because you know, rock and roll, you know, music in general could do what politics and organized religion can't do. It brings people together. And a lot of the new generation of hip hoppers, or you know, the little boys and girls that in the younger generation that loves hip hop, they look at hip hop and see one thing. They see this image of thugs, mm -hmm. drugs, of disrespecting women. You know, I had a little boy tell me, oh, that whole Rihanna Chris Brown thing is coming from the way hip hoppers treat girls. They didn't know when Run DMC, DC Boys, LL Cool J, um, Public Enemy, when we do it, we had a message to our music. And it was all in comp, it was, it was all, it brought people together. It was all inclusive. Mm -hmm. You know, whether he was in Beverly Hills or he was in the ghetto, we had a message that made us look at each other and say, I'm me, you, you, where can we go from here? So what I'm trying to do now is supposed to just be, you're wrong, that's right around. I'm using my music the same way I did in the 80s, just reintroduce it to them. Because the kids look up to me because they look at their mothers and fathers and they never seen their mothers and fathers go crazy when I go in the room. So the kids think he must have something. But more importantly, I try to speak to the kids at the same time with the same message consistently that's in my music. Cool. Part of that is this DJ Scratch or Scratch DJ yes. thing you have here. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about that. How well, Jim Master J, who was murdered a couple of years ago, um, one of his visions was to take the art forms of hip hop. People think hip hop is just about being a rapper and being famous, but there's an art form to it. Just like um, Eric Clapton had to learn to play that guitar, these DJs had to learn these turntables like instruments. So Rob Principe, Principe who was Jay's partner in the Scratch DJ Academy, said, Yo, I got a great idea. You know, kids, they like sports. So when they come to a resort, they could go water skiing and diving and stuff like that. And you know the kids, all they do is sit there all day in front of a video game. But with that same enthusiasm, we said, yo, why don't we bring the art form of DJ and MC and rap and the whole essence of what hip hop is and bring it into the same room as the video game because the kids, they want to learn. So we thought about introducing the art form to the children so they could become part of it as opposed to being a spectator. And what, what better place than doing a hair in the funny thing? And what's good about the Scratch Academy is this. Um, the ones in New York, the one in uh, Miami, and the one in LA that I visit, you had people 60 to 70 years old from all over the world that finally get a chance to learn the art form of what hip hop is about. You got your game together, brother. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We love y'all. Keep it rocking, keep it hip hop, and keep it real, and keep it positive. This is how we put it down when we at the beaches. Cool.